In this video, I'll go over how to get a substring in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. So as you may be familiar, substring is a fairly common function or method in different programming languages, such as JavaScript, Java, C Sharp, so on and so forth. In LibreOffice Calc, they have something very similar, and the function name is called mid. So I'll demonstrate by going to my other sheet. Here I just have a table of books. So the way to use mid is very similar to how you would use substring in programming. So I'll begin by typing in the function. And here you can see the tooltip. It takes three parameters. The first one is just the text or the cell that we want to target. So I just start with my first book title. And the next parameter is the position of where I want to start with. So let's start with position number five. And then lastly, it takes a number as how many characters do I want to be displayed. Here I use something like 15. All right, so now we have a substring like this. If we look at the formula bar, the function and its arguments is what I typed. So I want to point out that with the start position of five, that's referring to how far from the left do we want to begin with. So I use five and we look at the number of characters, one, two, three, four, five is the letter E. So it includes the letter E in there. And that's what we get in cell A13. It starts with E and then it goes on for 15 characters. And here I'll just copy down the formula and we see it applying to more book titles within my table. So that's pretty much how the function works. As you can see, it looks a little odd for me to just get 15 characters out of a book title. But this comes in handy usually when using in conjunction another function such as search or some other string related functions to accomplish something mainly to accomplish data cleansing or organizing your data in some way when it comes to working with text and strings. I'll put a link in the description below to the official LibreOffice documentation where it kind of goes into a few other functions. Feel free to take a look at that and try around for yourself in Calc. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, I recommend you to watch my other video about using text to columns in LibreOffice Calc. Thank you for watching and as always, stay nifty.